Hi, I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. In this video, I'm continuing my uh, discussion into ethics in qualitative research. And the idea of this lecture series is to present to you some of the ethical dilemmas and considerations that qualitative researchers should be making in conducting their qualitative research, right? In so far as we identify ourselves as qualitative method researchers, then there ought to be some sense in which we can properly regulate our conduct with participants. So the idea of this lecture series is to talk about the ethical dimensions in which that conduct is regulated. Um, specifically, what I'm going to do in this section is continue with the notes. Um, I'm on page three of my notes. As you guys know, all you need to do is click the link in the description field. It'll take you to the PDF. As the lecture series continues, the PDF will expand and use the notes in addition to the videos to guide your, to guide your, um, your studies. So this is going to be section 1.1 on the introduction to ethics and qualitative research. And uh, with that, let's begin. So this is uh, ethics in qualitative research. And this is section 1.1. All right. And with that, we'll, uh, we'll begin. So section 1.1, top of page 3. Ethics concerns the morality of human conduct. Right? When we're talking about ethics, we're talking about the morality of conduct. Right? The way in which we ought to conduct ourselves. Right? So roughly speaking, when we're talking about ethics... We're talking about morality of human, right? The morality of human conduct. And the, the simple way for those of you, I've, I've done a, um, a very introductory account of ethics already, lecture series, which I'll expand later. But the, the basic idea of the distinction is that there is a state of affairs, and then there ought to be. And this is sort of the framework for ethics, right? We're talking about what is the case, and we're saying that based on what is the case, here are the conditions in which we ought to govern ourselves, right? It ought to be the case that in conducting qualitative methods research, you factor into your, your assessment the ethical considerations over and above the desire for observational data. For example, I did that last, this account, last section, in section 1.1. Basically, the emphasis was a recognition that observational data should not be um, and should not take precedence over ethical considerations. The should, the ought, right? These words are indications that the framework with which we are conceptualizing this relationship between researcher and participant is an ethical framework, right? So ethics and ethical considerations, moral considerations of human conduct are the means in which we are going to regulate um, regulate ourselves with respect to our relationship with our participants. So next is the three ethical considerations for social scientists. As you guys know, I'm not in any sense saying that this should be exhaustive. These are just three. Most of this is coming from the text. Um, ethics in qualitative research and in the notes anytime you have a page number by itself so I, I might cite something and I just put the page number the page number refers to the book ethics in qualitative research if I cite something and then I give you a hyperlink to a .gov page a .edu page someone else's page or another text then I will I'll, I'll make sure I make a distinction between citation from the book and citation from an external source all right, so three ethical considerations for social scientists, right? So these are three One question is, what are these three uh, considerations? The first is moral deliberation. The first is moral deliberation, and I'll go through and I'll speak about these uh, in a second. The second is choice. And then the last is accountability. Okay, 
So, in no particular order, and also not exhaustive, um, three ethical considerations that you should make as researcher, I'll put for researcher. All right, three ethical considerations that you should be making as researcher in conducting your qualitative methods research is one, moral deliberation, two, choice, and then lastly, accountability. So let me talk for a little bit about uh, the importance of these considerations. Again, as I said previously in the last hour of the video, of the video series, is a recognition that ethical considerations um, have to take precedence over observational data, right? So the first thing is ethical, just again to sort of recap, considerations, S, I, right, take precedence over observational data, right? We want to make sure that ethical considerations take primacy over observational data. Well, insofar as we're deliberating ethically about our research, right, in sort of a preparatory stage, we want to make sure that this deliberation factors this, this relationship into account, right? Our act of deliberation is an act that is guided by the concerns for ethical consideration, right? So insofar as we deliberate about the nature of our research, about what it is we'd like to assess, in our social, in our social science um, research, we want to make sure that the deliberation process factors into account the importance of um, ethical consideration over observational data. Okay, so our moral deliberation is itself framed by this consideration. I'll say that again. Right, our moral deliberation as qualitative researchers is framed by the relationship between ethical consideration and observational data ethical consideration takes precedence over observational data, right? So the deliberation is framed in that sense. So just for, for a point of, of, of clarity, let me give you an example. Imagine that you have two researchers, right? Researcher, researchers one and two. So we have two researchers and the researchers have exactly the same interests. Right? Their observational data the thing that they're trying to assess, whatever that thing in the world, X, it's exactly the same. I have the same interest. So in my particular case, the observational data that I was trying to get as a qualitative methods researcher graduate student was um, narrative accounts, phenomenological accounts from Holocaust survivors. So. I might want to get narrative accounts from Holocaust survivors. Um, you know, researcher two might want to get narrative accounts from Holocaust survivors. So you get the idea. Now I'm going to get more abstract in, in the discussion. So with respect to the researcher, we recognize that researchers, multiple researchers, will have shared interests, right? So that the interest is shared. The interest would be shared. What interest is being shared in this particular scenario that I'm just creating, observational data getting phenomenological accounts from Holocaust survivors. Okay, fine. Insofar as I factor into my account moral deliberation, right, in preparing my research, if I put ethical considerations over observational data, but my colleague doesn't and puts observational data over ethical considerations, you can see that the conduct of my research is going to be totally different. Despite the fact that we are both arriving at, our, our, des our desire is the same observational data, we are both interested in getting information from this particular group. However, in my moral deliberation, I place ethical consideration over the observational data, then you can imagine that our research is going to be completely different. We're not going to conduct the same type of research, despite the fact that our end state is exactly the same, right? So our interest of that thing which is driving our research is shared. The data that we're going to collect is relatively similar. However, insofar as during the process of moral deliberation,